hatch and just oh, give him some he's gonna pointers. throw it in there, and he can't throw units into this meat grinder here that is Terran. And they're actually in move command there, yeah. so they weren't fighting right away. He is no, he's not even gonna get one medevac. Uh, 74 so supply of army versus 22, and he only has links coming out, so it's just not mathematically possible for him. You know, the macro was was decent. He chose the right race for it, macro, but he's got to have the right units. And look, yeah. I don't even think they killed one marine there. Yeah, no, I, yeah, this is it for uh, Cloak in game number one. Hopefully, he draws Protoss in game number two. Uh, I'm not even sure where he's at with Terran, so let's just hope it's a Protoss in game number two. Just not. All okay, right, yeah, let's, let's see him. Does he get he it? Knows. Yep. It, he actually gets it in time, so he's not gonna be bum he's a tank. here. Yeah, he does need a tank, but that's look at Fenrir. No, he get finally no, gets orbital. No, he he moved up his mind. He got oh, up, he moved so. it. Oh, I missed that. But hey, if you move it, he gets shot. You just need to get one one thing off. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that that's one, really gonna and, do it but for GG. this. Yeah, so he needs to know how to deal with this, and unfortunately, he lost that game rather. So, GG. Let's talk to our players for cyan but cyan does you know he did he finish yeah he finished charge and this charge army is good so here it goes the blink down that's a lot of charge lots so maybe he'll clean this up after all we'll see nice micro hiding in the uh, bunker if he can kill the you know the tank he can kind of regroup oh good pickup and oh no, he needs to warp in. Uh, Cyan has no money, guys. And look, the tanks are sieged. The tank, tanks. Sorry, there's two tanks are sieged. I don't think he has enough here. He just does not have enough and no money. I think this is gonna do it. Game one. That one is gonna go to the young one. Could be revenge of the cyan right here on this counter push charge lots are great against stalkers there are shield batteries here uh, a shield battery here with overcharge and cannons but is that enough i think cyan thinks it is so he backs off did he lose his uh i think he lost his observers too so these dts well never mind there's a cannon there but these dts Oh, never mind. There's a cannon there too. But you know, the army here is just so strong for the Ar the cyan. He's already got one one, right? His upgrade is there. Four charge lots. There's four immortals here. I think it's only a matter of time. He's getting raised down here too, and there you go. He ties it up. He has his own charge lot, but he's gonna go sneak in the back. Voyager. He's got to be careful not to take a bad fight here. Uh, and yeah, this is a good good pickoff, but he better run away as soon as these void because he cannot afford to lose this. I would be call. Oh, but no, there's a shield battery. That's all about the shield battery. And you know he's on slow because he's he used this thing, uh, his his little prismatic alignment, and he loses all the void rays. I mean, for the, for what? Killing a few pylons and some void rays. That was not good. And, oh man, why is he fighting? Oh, he's gonna send everything? Why? No! No, you don't have the advantage. Why? I don't know why Cyan thought he could attack. He only had two carriers. That was a terrible decision. I don't know if that was a misclick or what. Oh man, he's gonna lose everything now. And there's a big counter. Uh, he just kind of he threw the game right there. He tried to go with some Voidre ninja, you know, attack thingy and didn't work out. Now he you know shield batteries here. And he's finally gonna pay for no shield batteries. Well, one decision. You know, at at any point here he could have snowballed with the right units and the shield battery, but he didn't. And that was the the, the play of the game was. Really going into this main, losing his void rays, and then losing everything else, and we're gonna have our winner. Yeah, 
I think the stalker is just waiting. Oh, the for stalker him in the right jump there. zone. Okay, so he's there. Let's see. He prevents him from hopping Two, in. Oh, he's gonna three. see it. Curtain oh, time. He no, turns he to the right. Oh no, he misses it. He still doesn't see an expansion though. But he doesn't know what it is because he does not drop. And there's the DTs. They're in. He needs to split oh, him though. No. He cannot keep him in the same place. Oh, he needed to split in. But, you know, he'll do a lot of damage. But remember, he's still on one base. If he had split this, that's really what you want to do. But now, Hurtin' Time is on alert. One more scan. So he better uh, use it wisely. He's chasing after that Cyclone. And, you but know, he this only is has the, one the win Cyclone. condition, right? Win condition for Hurtin' Time. Survive for eight minutes. We're only at the five-minute mark. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, my gosh. He needs to go in. More DTs. Oh, charge slot. Is this charge or is this just slow? Oh, it's just slow zealot. He will get rid of the uh, possibility of a raven. He oh, can he kill this? Off. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna he take, take this out. But he's hoping to just. Oh, he's gonna finish it off with the. the yes, one more scan. Oh. One more scan. But he's taking so him. much damage. Oh, he has no, no! more attacking units. And I think oh, that's it. and there it is, guys. The six minute mark. Survive for eight. Ah. You know, he's so rich. You can almost make another 10 factories, right? Oh, okay, he's adding three starports. He's yeah, kind of forced he's... to fight here. He kills you know one what? of the brood lords. He's These gonna kill. These mines are actually doing work. Oh! <laughs> He kills another. There's only four brood lords left, guys. Four brood lords. Four, four uh, Thors. Two more. Oh, he, he might clean it up. Good scan. One left. One left. If he can clean this up, he has a chance. And you know, the last thing that Freedom wants to do is more here and get out. Sort of island. But he hasn't been trading well. I'll tell you this. Oh, he has not been trading no. well. Oh, and Look he's going to lose the Broodlord. I think he's done, dude. He can't afford this. One guy is rich, He's and that's not him. Yeah, I think this is it. A Viking's land, you know, it, instead of the cinematic where the Viking gets pushed away by Ultralisk, it's actually... Not when it's, <laughs> not, not when it's 12 of, uh, Vikings. Vikings. <laughs> Alright, okay. so that's... And look, great. That's the thing. He 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 was never really the rich guy here in this game. So if he had like ten swarm hosts and he not losing them and he's constantly trading, then it'd be better for him. Oh, look at the look at the uh, what do you call that? <laughs> Microbial shroud. But I think that's the opposite. But, you don't want to do it for the opponent in that one. It you know the the whole idea of micro microbial shroud is that it allows units that are ground to take what fifty percent. Less damage from yeah, so he units. helped them out. All right, okay, the it. last mining base here. Oh, he, he, I think he meant to scan there. He ends up dropping a mute. He's gonna repair it. Yeah, because so Frieden is there's the GG. We are going to game number three. Well, three popped out earlier, and seven more are in the way. Why did he lift up this command? Is uh, barracks? I guess he wants to make a. Oh, that must have been a mistake. I think that was a mistake. Oh, you know what he did? I, I, I've done this a few times. It's where, you know, I, I lift it to go, to that one add-on. During that lift, though, he I rallied. reset, I reset yeah. my rally. And I don't realize it. And then so it doesn't do a rally because it's up in the air. So instead it goes to where you're putting the rally in. So I've done that yeah. before as well. So I think that's what happens. Yep. I've done any every Terran has done that at one point. So very fortunate, but not too All big right. of a deal. Alright, so here the Mutas doing work on the main mineral line of curtain time. This is yeah, two. good damage right here. Really good. Surprising because he did scan and saw this, honestly. He saw he scanned the next time. No, he saw it. See? He didn't hide the spire. He scanned. He just didn't look. Yeah, he just didn't look. He didn't. He, he wasn't aware. And so this is doing a ton of damage. Oh unlike the last gosh. game. Yeah, unlike the he last game where there were game. Fours. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, this is he's going to give up. And that's going to do it. And look at that. 
six minutes, almost seven minutes, and that moves through <laughs> the eight minute mark. <laughs> what a crazy way to end it, guys. Freedom.